He said, by the power of Grayskull. Hello, this is just a quick review for Trackmania Turbo. Um, it's one of the games you get free this month um, if you're a PlayStation Plus member. I've had this game before in the past um, when it first came out because it, it came out ages ago. Like, so people, like, it's not new, you know, like everybody knows about it, but it's just one of those games where it like, slipped under the radar, really. I think um, it was good at the time. I mean, I remember when it did come out. Um, but I think it had came out at the same time as like a different game, so it um, it like that other game stole all the limelight from this and this. I mean, it's not a triple A title or anything. This is just one of those games where, like, you deservedly get it for free, or, um, you know, like it's twenty quid or something like that, or it's like an online game. It's not. Uh, it's nothing special but at the end of the day it's really addictive and it, it it's like i like games when they come along a bit like this where it's just all gameplay and you know it's all about keeping the gameplay in the graphics i mean the graphics are good they're okay they're not good amazing but they're not shit i mean they're sufficient for what you you know the suffice what they have to do but at the end of the day it's it's one of those games where you'll just keep trying and trying and trying it's really addictive it's got that gameplay element that's what i'm saying it's like it's got that thing where you're just like one more go i'll just have one more try just one more try because like you can see the track is about 30 seconds long if that um so it doesn't take long to do each track and it's doable like every track you get you think oh i've just done it nearly done it that time or i have just done it this time or whatever and fucking um it makes you want to just keep playing and playing and playing um you know like look at that i'm number i think i was oh that might be track number seven but you can move up the rankings quite um, quickly, even in the online rankings, like the world rankings. Um, but I was just trying to set times faster than all my friends I've got on my, my friends list on my PlayStation. Like, there's a few of them came up in the scoreboards, and it says like your friends best times or like the world rankings. So I was just trying to smash like my friends' time. Um, but there's different types of cars. I think there's like four four different types there's like a formula one car there's this car there's like um, a stock car kind of like a 1930s kind of stock car um and there's another type of car as well i forgot and then there's this or it might be a nascar kind of stock car and then there's this um but you so there's only four vehicles and it just varies on the different terrain you get i think um so it's like fucking not that varied and you can you don't get the you can customize the um you can customize the paint jobs but it's like they've all got the same paint job so you can't move anything around it's just printed on and there's only about wait i'd say there's about 12 or something to pick from if i can think correctly there's about 12 different livery styles and you can choose like your different colors so like yellow and black is you get two colors like your primary and your secondary color and um so you can change that and then there's a few different sticker options you can get so it's not that bad i mean um it's better than having nothing at all but you see how there's two ghosts one of them is me off my last go or my fastest time and then another one is the gold medal it's the computer telling you what the gold medal is so as long as you beat that then you know there's the computer that's gold medal who's just took over because then if you beat him then you know you've definitely got like a gold medal so and it's silver or bronze or wherever you, like your next medal is so um like i say it is addictive you do um you do tend to play it i just stuck it on to see what it was like and i played it for about two hours um you know so it's like like i can't get over it like i'm just trying to tell you it really is addictive like you'll play it for you just because you die so quickly then you just want to restart and just keep going and going and going um and obviously you've got to, to beat the times and that but i think i'm really glad that we're going for free i mean um it's one of those games where like i said at the beginning you pay about 20 quid for this and even then you'd think right that's right on the limit of how much i would pay i've like i might have paid a bit too much for it 
maybe 12.99 or something like that because it's it's something that should have came out maybe four or five years ago you know what i mean it's like they've brought out a game which is it's like a bit old in it's brand new but it's it's an old kind of the way they've done it it's old it's outdated they could have had something better to do i mean i suppose the stunts are good but this could have been just like a, a challenge mode within the other game of doing proper tracks and dirt tracks and you know like nascar um circuits and shit like that so you could have made it a lot better had proper circuit racing as well as just doing this but i suppose that takes away from the whole idea of the game isn't it but like i say it's not the best so don't be don't get your hopes up too much but if you like it and you like the look of it then this is definitely worth downloading like because it's free so you may as well but um yeah, that's it so see you there You are a smelly pirate hooker.